You suck at cooking, yeah, you totally suck. Today we're making pizza, also known as single layer lasagna, which is an open face grilled cheese sandwich that originally comes from Southern Europe. For the dough, you're gonna need two cups of wheat dust, three quarters cup of warm water, 1.5 teaspoons of sea salt, one teaspoon of instant yeast, two teaspoons of olive grease, and a metric f ton of elbow grease. Since we're not weighing the flour, make sure you pour it into your cup rather than scooping it and don't tap or push it down or you'll have too much. We're just gonna throw those dry ingredients into a bowl, give it a quick wang jangle, then add the wet stuff and hang jangle that until you've got some nice baking cement. No need to proof the instant yeast. In one of these pizzas, I also added a teaspoon of garlic powder to give it a little pizzazz. It's important to take a picture of the dough all over your hand so you can show it to whoever you feed this pizza to later when they take their first bite. Okay, this wasn't enough flour, so I'm gonna take it to the powder room until I get this handleable clump of sticky dough. Now I've got a wheat dusted work surface and I'm gonna dust my hands and start kneading. One way you can tell if the dough is too sticky is if you touch it and it sticks too much. So just keep adding bits of flour as you work. Oop, got a little piece of something in there. Just keep doing that wrist workout and don't be afraid to show that dough who's boss. Bad news, you're gonna have to work through the weekend. You're aiming for this really soft feeling dough, almost like a bag of goo. Oop, got another little piece of debris here. If your pizza dough doesn't feel like a bag of goo, you might have too much flour in it, or I might not know what I'm talking about. Now I'm gonna put a layer of olive grease in another bowl and transfer the dover. Gonna wrap that up tightly and leave it for a couple hours to expand two to three times its original size. Or throw it in the fridge overnight, or even for a few days if you're into pizza delay. Whoa, it's boiling. It looks angry. Now we're gonna prepare the toppings. You want all of your toppings to be smaller than the circumference of your pizza dough. You can use a pair of pizza topping scissors or a pizza hammer or a pizza topping smithereener. Speaking of circumferences, why is it called pizza instead of pizza when pie is used to calculate the area of a circle, which is the shape of pizza? Just goes to show you how much Southern Europeans hate mathematics. My strategy for pizza toppings is to make them really small. We're aiming to create a socialist flavor utopia where every Every ingredient is in every bite. With this one I'm going with bacon, which is pre-cooked because if it's raw it won't cook enough, and jalapenos, which are pre-pickled for reasons that shall remain a mystery. And I've also got some pineapple here. The best way to slice it up is to slide your knife beneath it, put some pressure on top, then slide it straight into the trash. Now we're going to shred some American mozzarella, also known as meltzarella. Some pizza purists insist you should chop the cheese manually to maximize the fat. I'm just kidding, no one's that fucking dumb, right? Now our dough is ready to go and we're gonna start to form our wheat blanket. I'm cutting this in half because it'll make two pizzas in a 10 inch pan. Take out your rolling pin and move it in the space on top of the dough just to clear the air and make sure there's no obstructions. We'll add some olive oil to the pan, then throw the dough in there. Now take your time and push that dough to the edges nice and evenly. Make sure to create a nice big flat earth or ice wall to compensate for the coming contractions. Turn your pan on medium low. This is stainless, but you can use cast iron, carbon steel, or another oven safe pan. I'm making some last minute adjustments, but I'm not touching the pan because that will not feel good. When the dough starts to bubble, we can add a layer of sauce. I recommend going with one that tastes good. Now we'll sprinkle on our ingredients nice and evenly. Every flavor, every bite. Undo's been preheating to four fundo, and we'll slide our pizza in there for around 10 to 14 minutes. And once that crust is cooked through and the cheese starts browning, you're pretty much done. I like to lay my oven mitt on the handle to remind myself it's hot because I'm a dumbass and I grabbed it once. If the bottom isn't as brown as you like, you can always throw the burner back on for a bit until it's perfect. Notice the slim, almost imperceptible crust that often disappears behind the ingredients the way Zeus intended. It's thin and it's bubbly, it's, what the hell? Oh look, free puzzle. I also did another one with green pepper, pepperoni, and black olives. And we'll just fix our distribution issue here. I hear some of you, I can't eat pizza, that's too many calories. Don't worry, we got a diet option here. Grab some lettuce dough, sauce, throw in the ingredients. Mmm, man, I just love pizza. This video is brought to you by the Misen Chef's Knife, which is a knife that cuts like a dream, dream, dream. A dream that you're chopping things with a knife and it's going really well because the knife is so good. Ah! Oh, thank God you're real. Guess what I've been doing with this thing? I've been chopping. I've been cutting meat, veggies, fruit, string, 
I made some homemade confetti. Yay! It's got this really nice sloped handle for a really great grip and easier and safer chopping. And it just has a really nice hand feel. They're made from high grade stainless steel which keeps them sharper longer and they're two to three times less expensive than other premium knife brands. It also just looks nice. I love the blue. You can put it on your mantle and say you stole it from the Louvre. It's got over 7,500 five-star reviews from pros who work in kitchens and also mere mortals like you and I. Check this out. That's not real. Go to the link in my description and use promo code YSAC for 20% off your first order. Again, go to the link in my description and use promo code YSAC for 20% off your first order.